Okay, today we're gonna get to the bottom of it. I took miles, and I don't care how nobody feel about it. DNA test. I got a DNA test, and the results is in. I mean, if you're cheating, let me just cover my bases and see what's. Dear Mr. D. Laird, we are writing to provide you with the results of the DNA paternity test conducted on the samples submitted to our laboratory. The test was performed to determine the biological relationship between you, the alleged father, and your child, Miles Laird. Participants, alleged father, D. Laird, child, it's Miles Laird, mother, Erica Laird. <clears throat> Summary of the results. After thorough, after thorough analysis of the genetic markers using advanced DNA testing techniques, we have determined the following. The probability of paternity for D. Laird as the biological father of Miles Laird. Zero point. 0% interpretation. 0.00% probability of paternity conclusive excludes D. Laird as the biological father of Miles Laird. This result means that based on the genetics evidence, D. Laird cannot be the biological father of the child in question. Details of the analysis. The DNA test compared 20 genetic markers between the alleged father and the child. The analysis showed no matching. Alleles between D. Laird and Miles Laird, which is consistent with the exclusion of paternity. Conclusion based on the genetic evidence analyzed. D. Laird is excluded as the biological father of Miles Laird. If you have any further questions, is for the fellas and hear me well fellas if you get a woman pregnant and she has that baby do not sign that birth certificate okay do not sign the birth certificate i don't care if she's your wife your fiance your girlfriend i don't care what she is i don't care how sweet and how much in love you are with her do not sign that birth certificate okay don't set yourself up like that do not sign a birth certificate until dna can prove that that's your child it's some nasty, sneaky, deceitful women out here in this world, okay? Don't you do that. Don't do it. So I knew this guy. He married this woman. For a couple years, they were married. They had a baby. It was a little boy. This is the dad's first child. He named him after him. He was a junior. Some time go by, the little boy's features start coming out. Looks nothing like the dad. And, and you know that's okay sometimes genetics are funny think nothing of it but he doesn't look like the mother either mind you so whatever but then the dad's family sisters are telling him hey this little boy is not my nephew he doesn't look anything like us you know kind of like harshly this is not our blood he doesn't look like us you should get a dna test he takes their advice goes get a dna test the dna results read that he is not the father so yeah his wife cheated on him with another man, got pregnant from him, lied to him and said he was the father. He was not the father. So for eight years, he's been taking care of this little boy, thinking that this little boy was his. Built this relationship, this bond with this little boy for eight years. Imagine the hurt, right? And to make matters worse, the state now tells you that you have to pay child support for 18 years, well, 10 years. Why? Even though the DNA says that I am not the father, he has to pay child support because he signed that he signed the birth certificate. Yeah, that's how they do it. So you have to pay child support for this child, even though he's not yours, because you signed the birth certificate. And if you don't pay, we're gonna take your license. You can go to jail, even prison, if you don't pay. How's that? 
again, fellas, be careful and don't sign that birth certificate. That's what I don't want for you. I don't care what man out there tells you they got to have you. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I know people that's been married for 30 years and got a divorce. Yeah. I was married for damn near 28 years and walked out, woke up one morning and walked out the door. So it's not that you so much in love and you can't live without a man. What can a man do for you that you can't do for yourself? Nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna be honest with you. Young girl, y'all young girls out here they, nowadays, y'all get a taste of that dick and you go crazy. You go crazy. And they ain't did nothing but take your virginity and nine times out of ten, I talked about you. Talk about you. Talk about you. But they, when they was talking to you, to talk you out of them panties, that's when you're beautiful. I want to be with you. I want to have a baby with you. Let's have a baby. Let's make a baby. Let's do this. Let's do that. I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. But in the same conversation, in the same conversation that you had with this dude, he come out of his mouth, uh-uh, not me, I don't want no kids. I ain't finna have no kids. But they want you to have one so you can be the topic of the conversation. You gonna be the topic of the conversation. Yeah, I got old girl pregnant. <laughs> well, what you gonna do? Nothing. I'm not sitting to lower myself to be up in the courthouse fighting damn man for no fucking child support. It ain't worth it. It's not worth chasing nobody to uh, uh, be calling a bitch on the phone talking about, yo, bruh, the baby needs some diapers. Yo, bruh, can you drop me off some milk? Yo, bruh, are you going to go to the doctors to take him? You know, who wants to do that? Nah. Who wants to do that? Mommy. You are you, Jessica. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you did anything to get in trouble or anything like that. You ask me about relationships. And in my opinion, you don't need no goddamn man. And one thing in life I have taught you, you need to really understand. And I'm telling all you young girls out there right now, a stiff dick has no conscience but just like he dick you down when you ain't around he gonna dick somebody else daughter down maybe older than wow. you maybe wow look at what a grown woman is telling her granddaughter this is crazy this is really crazy one wonder why these ladies out here now are behaving anyhow this is the reason we're out here Old women that are supposed to be giving very good advice to their daughters and granddaughters are the one putting in evil into their mind. That was exactly what Kevin Samuels was saying back then. And people thought he was just crazy. He was making things up. This is the example right here. This is serious. Unfortunately, so many men will fall into our hands thinking they are falling in love with someone, not knowing that this is a devil's child. It's unfortunate, y'all. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these old women that spill evil into their daughter's hearts against men. Thank you very much for staying tuned to the end. I'll see you in another episode. Bye.